Few things bring more joy to an athlete's face than shutting everybody up. And if you were scrolling through Twitter in the first half of the Ravens game yesterday, you saw Lamar Jackson getting more roast than a high school cafeteria table. But in one run, he flipped the script on the playoff doubters. It was a play that had many conjuring up memories of Michael Vick. I say this dude is his own cat. He doesn't need comparisons. He's creating his own path. All the talk that he can't get it done in the postseason after his first two outings and now earning his first career playoff victory with one heck of a performance. Man, locked in. You know, um, there was plenty of times in games, you know, we felt like we had our opponents beat. And um, our defense has been playing, you know, great throughout the season. And we'll just get off the field and those guys score points and we're not responding, you know. So our biggest um, thing was after COVID, like, we got to finish. Man, it feels good, you know, Mr. James. And um, I, I knew, you know, we had the capability of doing that. Uh, but, you know, there's going to always be no um, naysayers, you know, no matter what. So we just one game at a time. I appreciate the, um, the win. Hard fought team victory. The Steelers' loss was the last thing anybody saw coming, except Allie Baruby, but we can't have her knowing that we gave her credit. But when you look at the recent history, should we have seen it coming? This is now the Steelers' third straight playoff loss in those three games. Scary stat alert. Pittsburgh has allowed an average of 43 points a game, and they've been outscored by a combined 33 points. Mike Tomlin is aware of the reputation this group now carries with them after another one and done. Uh, it is what it is, man. Our record is our record. Our performances are our performances, and so don't run away from that. Not a lot to say. Um, we didn't perform well enough tonight. Not coaching, not playing. Um, you know, you can you can chalk it up to the turnover game, but you know we weren't good enough in a lot of other areas in communication in terms of detail. Um, just not a good night for us, and in the sim single elimination tournament, we don't have a good night to go home. So while the Steelers prepare where to go now, first things first, will they bring back Big Ben? Could he retire? The 17-year veteran says he wants to come back if the team lets him, guys. So not giving Elliot the credit. Um, <laughs> we, we'll give her credit at 6 a.m. It's more of like in-person kind of thing. You know, okay. when she's not watching, I think that's kind of the key to it all. Gotcha. But then again, this is now recorded, so I think she'll see it at some point. You don't point. want to give yeah. her a big head. Exactly, well, I, I exactly. Did say that, I did Small see dust. on Twitter that she thinks Ben is done. Yes, she does. And, and a lot of people may be thinking that as well. And, and rightfully so. He's been talking about it for about three years now. I think it's one of those things that he sort of looks at the roster, and it, it just might be the combination of, of what has really happened here in the last couple of years. But they still have a really good roster. It's just, are they get that final piece? And these performances make people question performances like we're talking about right now. Logan, uh, first, thank you so much for waking up with us thank this you. morning. Great Appreciate party Appreciate that. Get some <laughs> sleep. And love the suit. Not as good as yours, though. That's, that's, that's okay. My Come gosh. back anytime, Logan. I'm literally in between them. You can't see this, but I'm feeling the love. My gosh. It is 626. Thank you, Logan.